Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Eric July is signing books. Yes, yes, I'm happy. I can't cuss within the first 30 seconds of a video. That's... Hey, look at that beard. This is the uh, Dorothy's New World Lager from Toppling Goliath. I've had this quite a few times on stream and, you know, it's some people carry it around here, so... My wife knows that I like it, and so she buys it for me. Let's get into Eric July signing some books. He announced it on Twitter. Let's go. So Eric July currently signing the motherfuck out of books. See, that's why I couldn't read this in the first 30 seconds. I think I made it to the first 40. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, well, I'm not monetized anyway. Who gives a damn? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I saw this, and I, I looking for topics to cover on the channel. Um, I know a lot of people like the more upbeat topics that I do, and you know, uh, the, the and and it is tough. It's it's tough because I want to remain more of a positive channel uh, than a negative one. I don't just want to do a lot of the same stuff that a lot of people are doing. Part of the reason why uh, I don't want to review the She Hulk series, Billy Bob Sack. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Billy Bob Sack. You just go. Scroll. You'll find his comments. He really wants me to review the She-Hulk series, but I won't have anything good to say about it, and I can't, like, fake laugh along with something that I don't like, and I'm not... I, d I feel like for me to review that thing would be disingenuous to myself and disingenuous to the followers, so I'm not doing that. But I'm covering Eric July signing books. They say if it bleeds, it leads, and... And this motherfucker's hands better be bleeding after all the shit he's signing because I think he's got like 20 some odd thousand books to sign or something like that. Dude's going to have carpal tunnel like crazy. Uh, so I'm very excited about this and I was scrolling through and I just saw some of the some of the some of the the, the gifts that people were. It's a gif, not a gif. You can, you know, no, uh, just some of the gifts that people were sharing. I love to see it. I love to see it. You know, all of these <laughs> uh, Is that racist? That could be racist. Um, <laughs> then we go back to the scary movie stuff. No, but I am so excited to, uh, to, to hear that Eric July is finally, you know, getting the books signed, which I thought he was signing them already, but maybe not. I, I don't know his business plan and how he's rolling stuff out. So... All of that being said, some really awesome things have happened to the channel. We are at 600 subscribers right now. Which is insane because a little over a month, a half ago, we weren't even at 100 subscribers. We were at like 96, 95, 96. And um, it is thanks to all of you guys and your support right now that this is even happening. And you guys are kind of showing me the way. You guys are kind of showing me what you like me talking about. Uh, I won't be talking about She-Hulk, Billy Bob Sack. It's not going to fucking happen. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay? No. That's No. I'm not doing it. But you guys are kind of showing me the way, showing me what you enjoy. Uh, I am also very excited to announce that my Clownfish TV video, I did tag Clownfish TV uh, on Twitter because I was like, hey, I did a video about your thing, and I will share my stuff with some people once in a while just because I think it's cool. Well, they came in and they commented on the video, which I was like, what the fuck? What? Like, that was awesome. Like, Clownfish TV came in and they commented on the video, and I that was just really, really cool uh, to see that. So, And then, uh, on top of that, my lovely wife, bought shadow binders for me volumes one and volumes two so i will be um getting those hopefully soon and i will be covering shadow binders on the channel again uh trying to do for the iron age what so many people have been doing for uh mainstream comics for years and trying to cover those comic books in a fun narrative way going through the pages going through the panels uh, I'm trying to think about how to construct that exactly, like what parts I can kind of leave out, what parts I can kind of jump forward to. I don't know if these guys cover everything in their entirety, um, and I I, I want to leave a little bit to wonder, and I obviously am always going to shout out the channels that are out there that are uh, obviously promoting this stuff. Like So on the <clears throat> Shadowbinders videos, like I said, those should be coming soon. As soon as I get this stuff, I will be doing my best to get it and roll it out, and you guys will have weekly episodes to watch of the comics that you want to follow so i should i'll probably have like a shadow binders video one day i will probably have an eric july video one day uh when uh, or for for the ripperverse um 
And then I also have Gabe El Taib's Truth, Justice, American Way coming. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but that one, I don't think he's going to start shipping for quite some time. And then I will also be purchasing Crimson Red from... Um, I will be uh, purchasing Crimson Red from um, uh, Clownfish TV as well because that just looks super fun. And again, Treasure Planet vibes all over the place. I'm digging it. So the other side of doing this whole channel is trying to do it in a way where I respect the artists who are doing it. Eric July, Clownfish TV, uh, Gabe El Taib and his group. Uh, I also want to look into covering the Razor Fist Um uh, the Razor Fist Pulps. Um, <clears throat> I think that that would be something else that I would like to look into. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I just wanted to give that channel announcement here and show you guys like what I'm doing, what I want to do, uh, and how I want to work on the channel and grow the channel. I want to make sure that you guys have these videos that are coming out, that are covering these comics, giving the story, so you guys just have something fun to listen to for those people who... Uh, have already read the books. I'll be covering them. I can kind of throw in my opinion. I'll throw in my stupid ass humor and uh, I will be doing my best to show off and support uh, a lot of the people out there who uh, uh, give me hope that everything bad in media right now, all the, if it bleeds, it leads stuff that we've been dealing with for the last like five, six, seven years uh, goes away. And, and these people are coming uh, and these people have really been the spearheads calling it out making sure that you know it's not uh it, it, it's 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 not take it, it doesn't completely corrupt us and take us over and i think that that's hugely important because you know politics is downstream from culture and these people are changing the culture back to something that is absolutely fantastic so with all of that being said um i need to find a better way to get your recommendations for indie comics and i will want to research the people who are doing them so I can make sure that, um, again, I like supporting the people who are trying to move the culture away from the craziness. So I want to do that. Like, I mean, the other thing I could potentially do is test runs. Hold on one second here. So, and I, and just so everybody knows, these were all given to me from a box that my father-in-law found in his basement somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I, I've never bought comic books before, but I have a metric hell of a lot of these just sitting over here and I could potentially do just a random comic book, uh, from this little stash here. Some of them are Marvel. Some of them aren't. Some of them are you know, various things that I've never even heard of. Some of them are still in the bags and the boards, uh, like uh, like all these uh, ROM ones, these ROM Space Knights from Marvel Comics groups. These are all still, well, they're still in their bags. Um, but I could, you know, I mean, I could potentially cover um, a, a lot of that stuff on the channel too uh, and start reading those because I've never even really actually read any of those because by the time, um, by the time I actually got all that, Marvel was on the downhill and I was just kind of like, ah, because I know what they're doing with the superheroes, and it just kind of tainted it. But if that's something you guys would like to see, I mean, try to, you know... And also, the more videos that I do like that, the more I would be able to craft a way and, and learn my personality in doing those styles of videos for you guys. So, I want to know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about the direction I'm going in the channel? I will still be covering things... Um, like I like my Lord of the Rings videos. Um, I try to come at the Lord of the Rings and what they're doing with the rings of power in a different way than a lot of other people are doing. I don't just try to attack it and say, Oh, they hate the fans. Cause like, there's a lot of people out there that are literally, you can go. And a lot of people that I watch are doing, Oh, they hate the fans videos and things like that. And I want to attempt to avoid just doing a, they hate the fans and stuff like that. I don't want to, and I don't want this channel to turn into something. Now, if there's something that genuinely pisses me off, absolutely, I'll cover it. And something that's just egregious to me. But if it's just following this trend of, like, the downward spiral of, you know, the, the these modern takes on classic stories and what they're doing. Now, if something comes out that's really good, obviously, I'll cover it. I heard that, uh, and I don't feel that I'm qualified to talk about this. But Red Sonia had some uh, casting rearrangements and some uh, uh, crew rearrangements, potentially crew rearrangements. Anyway, 
Um, but so Red Sonia is potentially looking up. And for people who know the Red Sonia character, I do not. I am a novice when it comes to that. Like, I, I don't like I could potentially learn about Red Sonia. If you guys had some books that you wanted to recommend to me, if that's something that you would want me to cover when the movie comes out. Um, but this is everything that I am excited to see. This is everything that I uh, want to bring to the table. I want to bring a positive channel to the table while still having some uh, while still having some videos out there that, yeah, do talk about some of the more serious natures of things. That's why I did my, my Tolkien videos the way that I did them and why I try to attack those narratives from the more cultural and philosophical standpoints about what's going on um, and, you know, especially some of the psychology that plays into a lot of that, because I just enjoy those topics and I enjoy having those conversations with my friends, right? So the conversations that I'm having with you guys are the same conversations I'm going to be having with my friends. I do get political sometimes and I am actually completely enveloped in politics. Uh, I have paid attention to it since I was 16 years old. So I am aware of a lot of the political stuff that's going on out there. Cause I know a lot of people are like, Hey, did you know this was going on? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, but I don't really want to, that to be here because, again, if it bleeds, it leads. I don't want that to be my mantra here. I don't want that to be my mantra at all. And books getting signed, books being ordered, books coming and going to be in my hands soon. The excitement that you guys are all showing out there, except for you, Billy Bob Sack. I'm not letting this one go. But the And just the overwhelming support that you guys have given to me over this last month and a half, I call me crazy, but because of the support that you guys have shown to this channel, you guys make me believe that one day I would be able to do this and that would ultimately give me more time to be home with my family. And that's not something that I ever thought I could do without some sort of a miracle happening. And so with that being said, I guess you guys are my miracle. And I want to say thank you for that. And we're about to get our motherfucking rip of verse fucking books. <laughs> Sorry, no chick flick moments. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. We're getting books. We're setting culture. And we will hashtag win. Or wait, hashtag we will win? No, we will hashtag win. That's what I'm going for. Just just win. Just hashtag win. That's what we're going to do. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.